If you allow me to be brutally honest, I would say that 98% of these AI tools, especially the agentic frameworks, are for creating YouTube videos. If you try to deploy these tools, especially the agentic frameworks or tooling, to production environments to solve real-world use cases, they simply break. I'm not talking about all of the tools, but maybe 98% or even 99% of them. Especially when it comes to tailoring your own data, your own workflows through these agents, they simply don't work after a certain limit. I'm not saying that this tool which is on your screen, Sentient, is one of them. What I think is that it is not much different from other tools, but there are a couple of things which are quite promising. And that is why I'm going to do a video on it. We will install it locally and then we will try to integrate it with OpenAI's model. And then we will see how exactly this works and what exactly is what makes it slightly different to other tools. There are a lot of uh, improvements these guys could do and I will also be mentioning it uh, throughout the video so stay tuned this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot so what exactly is this sentient tool they also call it Roma it is a meta agent framework that solves complex problems by recursively breaking a goal into smaller subtasks and then it executes independent subtasks in parallel and then aggregates result back up the tree. What is different is that it uses something called as atomizer, planner, executor and aggregator. Seems like they have this intransparent debuggable multi-agent way where these workflows work with clear stage tracing and dependency awareness. And that is something which seems quite interesting to me. Now, once you have that in place, the rest of the lot looks very similar to other tools, but to be honest. Anyway, let's get it installed and we will see how it works. I'm going to use this Ubuntu system and I will be using OpenAI's model. And for that, if you are following along, you would need an API key, which is a paid option from platform.openai.com. So first up, let's git clone the repo. Okay, it is already there because I tried it earlier and I will tell you all about it once we get it installed. So let me re-clone it. Next, let's rename the environment file and open it in our VS code. So you can see that they have a lot of providers where you can set your keys in order to access them from Anthropic to Google, even AWS and a lot of other stuff. Two things I would suggest that now this field has become so saturated, especially agentic framework that you have to provide a native support for tools like LM Studio or Llama. You can't just say that, you know, use light LLM and use open source models. That is what this tool does, which I think uh, they need to improve badly. So I will be going with OpenAI's model. By the way, I have tried it with Light LLM and I have tried pointing it to Olama. Doesn't work at all. Another thing is that you, if you want to do web search, you would have to get this XIPI key. If you want to do code execution in a sandbox environment, you would need this key. And then if you want to integrate it with AWS and object store on S3, then you know you would need AWS credentials. So you can immediately see that you know, when you have to do these, all of these keys from different providers, it already just start beating the purpose that, you know, and all of them are paid option, by the way, after certain limits. Uh, even if you natively use our open router, which is scattered all over the code, then you would need to change it. Also, um, another not so good thing is that you would have to not only put your API key here, but also you would need to go to this file sentient, sentient.shaml and you would have to remove this and put your OpenAI uh, configuration which I will show you shortly and then there is another place which is agents.something which I will show you where you also need to change it. So of course this can be improved and documentation is terrible on the GitHub page 
so you really won't find anything there so i already have spent hours and hours to get this uh, working but let me first show you that where to put where so first in dot env file replace this with your open ai key so let me put it in there and save the file so i have commented out this open routers config and i'm just going to put in my key here in this file too and for third and final file you would need to go to into source so i'll just uh, open it again source and then hierarchical agent framework from there agents.yaml now here just find all the core research planners and then change it to openai so you would just need to uh, change your provider from light llm to openai and then give any openai's model there sounds really really um, cumbersome and re they badly need to fix this okay so let me change it and save the file so i have saved the file now just run this from the root of the repo it is going to install a lot of things on your local system and then it is going to open automatically a web browser while that happens let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application empowering you to build manage and deploy a custom ai workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks and you will find their link in videos description okay let's go back to see what is happening let's wait for it to install everything and as i said it is just going to open everything uh, automatically in the browser almost there i'm just waiting for it to open shouldn't take too long now yep it is just waiting for the back end and starting the front end there you go so it has opened it so this is the roma sentient research agent uh, working for you so here i am asking it is this the right time to visit bali as a solo traveler and then let's click on quick start and you can see that it has started uh, doing different tasks here there you go so there is a fancy interface it is linking a lot of models there so this is what i really like about it where it is trying to do in a modular distributed fashion and now it is searching stuff it is also checking different things now one heads up this is using open ai's model and the cost could really get out of the um, you know through the roof very very soon so make sure that you keep a check on it i will also tell you at the end how much did it cost me and if you are generous enough, you can just go and buy me a coffee from the home page of the channel or even better yet, become a member as that helps a lot. Okay, so let's wait for it to finish and then we will see what it shows me. You see, there are a lot of things are happening. I'm not sure if I can drag and drop. I can. Just it is showing me a hierarchical tree. I will just minimize it so that we could see more. There you go let's do one more i can't really move this so <clears throat> it is showing me i'll just click on data flow execution path subtree nothing okay anyway let's wait let's make more screen room also it would help to see which step is running i can't really see much there I'm just clicking on context flow and that sort of stuff. It is still running, it seems. And then you can start clicking on every node to see what is happening on the right hand side. That plan is done. And these are the details. I'm just going down. There you go. So all the execution stuff here. This is quite good, quite detailed. That is very nice. So, and this one is running. And these are the searches it has done. let's click here there you go so a lot of telemetry is produced which is always a good if you're a developer you would always love that it is so so crucial for debugging especially in the real world use cases let's click on this one 
and then it is going to show you the full result here there you go so all the detail is here so this is you can check looks pretty good to me and uh, i'm just checking if because i haven't really done much much search there because it doesn't sh it is talking about september 2025 this is because i also gave it exa a key so it has done some searching and you can see that it is telling me all about it so this is the search result from this tab and i'm just trying to see that how can i go to the final step i think it is still running so i will wait for it so as you can see it has produced some sort of plan now one of the drawbacks you can immediately see that um, for a, just such a simple sort of task it has created a lot of nodes and you really don't know where to do what for example if i click on right here and i go to the right hand side i can see that this was divided into sub tasks which were sort of you know run parallel but then all of these sub tasks they have done something like it says write a recommendation right so this is a node when i click on this node i don't exactly know where to check what is the result so definitely I can just go here, click on it again, and then I'll just go down. It says it's done. So this is input output timeline. I'm just going to check. This is a recommendation. This is a dependency. I'll just keep coming down, keep coming down. These were the subtasks. And then let's click on view full results. So this is a recommendation now. So looks quite good to me that weather challenges. Yep. Severe flooding. It is quite recent safety aspect cost consideration conclusion although it poses risk from adverse weather pattern the island's culture richness and potential cost can create a rewarding experience so answer is pretty grounded pretty good but i think uh, all in all this could be improved but other than that not a bad tool at all at least offer something different but let me know your thoughts you are the best judge too Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Thank you for all the support.